Welcome back to another Motivational Monday. I am A-Hole Joanna Bronson, and I'm so excited to share with you our tips and tricks of how to get your week ready for awesomeness. So today I wanna to talk about media. We are constantly hit with media. Social media, we're hit within the news, um, with people talking about what's going on in the world. Just There's this constant stream of connectivity to what's going on outside of ourselves, outside of our present moment. And because of that, you get distracted. I know I had this moment with how to get away with murder. All of a sudden, I went from never watching TV during the week while I'm working and hustling and doing all the things like, oh, I'm gonna watch it while I'm on at the gym on the elliptical for an hour. I'm gonna go watch it during my lunch break. And then all of a sudden that turned into a couple episode at the end of an evening. And then all of a sudden I was watching it all the time. And I didn't even realize that it got so addictive. I mean, it's a great show. I love you, Viola Davis. But um, <laughs> I just found myself being less productive. So sometimes you got to check your media intake. And what I did is I decided to go cold turkey for three weeks. I turned, I didn't watch Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, uh, anything. I didn't watch any TV. Um, I didn't go on any social media other than to do my blog posts. And even then I had an assistant start taking that over so that I made sure I wasn't spending too much time on social media. Um, so I pretty much cut it out for like two to three weeks. And at the end of it, I got so much done. It was amazing. And I, and I was getting rest because I wasn't watching TV right before bed, which I know is bad, but it's like, it's the end of the day and I never watch TV. So I would be like, all right, I'm going to watch one episode before I go to bed. And it just, it changes everything. Just do it for a week, do it for a couple days and see how much time and how much more present you are in your own life. Because now, now that I put it back in because I need it for, you know, work and things like that, I find that, you know, I spent, a, I spent like one hour going through all my emails and getting rid of all the spam, making sure that everything that comes to my email is something that I need. And I only check my email, I don't check my email every day anymore unless it's one of the ones I have marked that are important. Um, also with social media, I try to keep it down to 20 minutes a day because of posts and needing to be a part of that world and um, wanting to share the wealth of information and also seeing what other people are doing. And like my biggest reason I'm on Instagram is I literally am just looking at what other people are creating, what other people are working on to get me pumped, to get me inspired to like, all right, get back to work. Um, and you know, seeing what my family's up to because I'm really bad about connecting with them. So if I haven't talked to them that day or that week, I'm like, oh, what are they up to? Let me just, you know, stalk them a little bit. <laughs> and so, but I have gotten better about connecting with everyone because I'm not on social media anymore. Um, and it's been really helpful. Uh, TV, now I only watch TV when me and my partner are hanging out um, because we work so much that when we do have time, downtime together, which is literally only a couple hours at a night, or on a weekend, um, we'll watch one episode of a series that we both enjoy and we'll only watch that series together. So it's now become a thing that, oh, this is a thing I do with someone else. Or I'm gonna go to an uh, outdoor movie screening with another friend and that's how I'll get my media. And like making sure that when I'm t intaking my media, it's not only being helpful for my mind and heart and soul, um, that it's also connecting me to other things outside of myself to get me out of the, oh, I'm gonna do a 20 hour day today. So it's been helpful in that way. So I found a way, because media, I forget where I've heard this, but social media, all these things that we have at our fingertips, they are tools. They are not a way of life. They are, they are ways of connectivity. They are, they are tools and they should not own us. They should not, every time my phone beeps, I should not be going like this. Not every time, because you are in control of your own life, and those emails will get answered. The people you, the people who are contacting you for whatever jobs you're getting, they'll be there, but don't let it run your life. And I find that when I took that media out of my life for those two weeks, it was I felt so free. I even left my phone a couple days at home. Like imagine. <laughs> so um, I highly recommend it. Try it for a day. Try it for 48 hours whatever you want, but see how much more productive and how much like more energized you are because you're also not getting sucked into the tunnel of all this crazy things that go that are going on in our country. Yes, you know, uh, participate, yes, vote, yes, um, to being um, in it. But I also find that like with news, I've always been really bad about watching the news and then I found that once I put Twitter and all this stuff down, the people that I connect with daily, 
they usually are so on top of the news that I'm like, hey, anything interesting happened today? And they can give me a rundown of all the craziest things that are going on in the news right now and their perspective or whatever. And I know that's just one person's perspective, but you can talk to several people in a day and everyone will have a different version of what's going on. So it'll come to you. It will. Just trust that you'll be okay without it. So I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you have an amazing week, super productive, and I'll see you next time. If this was helpful, please share it. That's all we ask here at A-Hole Productions because we're just trying to help you along. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know. I'm always looking for new things to learn. I'll talk to you next time, guys. Have a great week.